So I'm doing this Twitter-mentry. 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 Elementary, my friend. Are you working with Watson? Yes, actually we are. Watson is the investigative uh, along with Sherlock. Okay, Sherlock. Uh, so when you think of it, what would you like to see in a Twitter-mentry? Uh, stories of the people by the people. Twitter-mentry, you have 140 words and 140 seconds to get to capture someone's story. And Stories. What, and what? How, what's your relationship to Twitter? Well, I hopefully we're friends. Although I don't know if he has Twitter that what Twitter would say. And what would you tell? What would you say to people about Twitter and about the future and the future of the state of now? Because that's really what Twitter represents to many of us. If people haven't heard of Twitter, they're not going to have any context to understand what I think is really happening. And the reality that the advent of the adoption of Twitter, not so much the introduction of Twitter, but you know, I've, I've been describing Twitter as social media tofu for a couple of years already. And what's, what I'm finding fascinating isn't the introduction of Twitter, but the adoption of it by many people simultaneously around the world. It's like an enzyme of change. And this change agent is affecting politics around the world. It's affecting the advertising industry. It's affecting celebrity fan relationship. It's affecting the media as a whole. And you know what, it's affecting a lot more too. And you know, for those of you in different affected businesses, you start to understand and appreciate what this means. But we're living in a very interesting time where we're all pioneering a field. We don't necessarily even understand the know, even know the name of the field we're pioneering. But we're doing something special. So as far as you know, my relationship with Twitter, well, I use it on the surface as a platform to communicate with the world. Each morning, wherever I am in the world, I say good morning, just to engage in some light-hearted conversation. Sometimes those conversations turn meaningful, sometimes they're a little dark, philosophical, but they're there. It's as if I'm standing on a street corner saying hello, and, and, and instead of strangers just walking by looking at me like, why is this guy standing on the corner saying hello? People respond from all over the world. You know, it's, it's by being in New York at 6 a.m. and saying good morning, do I realize it's 6 p.m. at night in Perth, Australia. It's 11 in the morning in London, 12 noon in Paris, 1 in the afternoon in Tel Aviv. I'm reminded about all of this. I'm reminded that, you know, it's um, 11 and a half hours difference at night in India from where I live. I mean, it's just an incredible place uh, to be alive and to be, and to be. So I use Twitter as a platform to communicate. I'm using it now as a source to hopefully make a little bit of money by bringing people together and uh, challenging the status quo and examining what does this mean? I'm using it as a way to promote ideas, uh, to connect people with people, to, 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 to sometimes wane and wax on different stuff. I'm there to share other people's ideas. When I see someone say something that I think is profound, I'll retweet it. News and information that I find interesting to me, I'll share it. Videos that people have made that I like, I'll share those too. So I'm here to communicate, I'm here to connect. Uh, I'm here really to uh, share information as transparently as possible. And at the end of the day, I'm here to enjoy myself. Um, and what I'm really doing is I feel like, you know, it, it feels like I'm sitting on, board, on, the, on Broadway and 35th Street all the time, people watching. Except I don't physically have to be in New York City to people watch. I could be online in front of a browser and people watch. And I could just listen to what's happening around me or choose to ignore all of it. But I'm there. And I see news as it breaks, I see people go by, I can wave to some, ignore others, and just be in my own la-la land if I want to be. You see, Twitter offers all of this and more to everybody. There's some people out there you trust, the others you learn not to trust, and you're learning about a real world that's evolving around us that if you ever thought of, saw the movie The Matrix, I feel like we're closer to being in The Matrix now than ever before. That, that it's in our minds and how we visualize how this all connects. And, and, and the reality between real life and online life is blurring a little bit. And, and blurring more this year than ever before for me. And I think in the future, we're going to be spending more time online, less time face to face. And that does bother me because I think that the more virtual we are, the more we have a need for human interaction and connection. But so what does Twitter mean to me? Right now, it's where you'll find me, it's where I live. It's uh, where I connect, it's where I think, and it's where I am now.
not on City Street. I'm someplace in Twitter. Greetings from Twitterville.